Hello Christian Boys, and welcome back to the Christian Boys Review Review YouTube channel. I'm Nick Ross, your hip youth pastor, and today I'm going to guide you through the world, uh, the world of sin and debauchery and scum and villainy, into a world of holiness and purity, as I always do on this channel. Today we're going to be reacting to a brand new music video by uh, Megan The Stallion, featuring Cardib. And uh, we're going to be talking through this and explaining it through the lens of God and Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, I, uh, I, of course, have already reviewed a Megan the Stallion video before. I reviewed um, B-I-T-C-H in the past. Um, as you remember from that video, I quite liked it. So uh, I'm familiar with the work of Megan the Stallion, and hopefully I am impressed by this song too. So without further ado, um, let me just get suited up here my uh, gaming headphones and we're gonna get right in to this music video um, now three two one go okay okay so we're sort of opening a gate getting into a uh, divine looking sort of place there's some fertility statues now I've heard this song has gotten a lot of backlash from people like uh, Ben Shapiro who of course is a very bad Christian are they saying it seems like they're saying there's some there's some there's some horse in this house we can only assume that that uh, is in reference to Megan the stallion because um, stallions are of course horses wet and gushy I'm, uh, so far, I'm having a hard time seeing why anyone would be opposed to this song on moral grounds. Seems to seems to just remind me of like a Gushers commercial, wet and gushy. So it's encouraging, sort of like good driving and uh, home ownership. This is very. Um, it's really sort of a traditional sort of role. Um, a good Christian role that these women are sort of describing, I think. Wet and gushy again, yeah. These are just... Lots of people seem to be upset about this song on the basis of it being sort of, um, I don't know, vulgar or profane, but I'm not really seeing any issue so far. It's more of a gushers, wet and gushy commercial. Um... So, you know, I mean, like, Cardib and Megan the Stallion seem to just be uh, very, very powerful women sort of um, supporting uh, each other in their pursuit of power. I'm not sure who this um, white girl is, but... So she seems to be wearing some kind of, like, leopard print. Um, jumpsuit on, I guess. Sort of high fashion, very classy sort of dress. You know, I think, I think Jesus Christ and God would probably like this song, if I'm honest. It's really kind of difficult for me to follow what they're saying. They're talking a little bit too fast, but I, I haven't really heard any, um, I haven't really heard any bad words so far, so I'm very, very encouraged by that. There's some horse in this house. There's some horse in this house. Yeah, that's got to be that's got to be in reference to Megan the Stallion because she's probably the horse in the house. Now I didn't know I didn't know that horses liked gushers. I thought they were more of a sugar cube sort of animal, but. Wet and gushy, yeah. You could literally play a Gushers ad over this and it would just it would just um work perfectly. In fact somebody somebody throw that up. Okay, yeah, I mean it's just two strong, independent women, uh, you know, sort of standing up for themselves in a 
in this new age of feminism, which the Bible, of course, endorses and supports. Um, so personally, from a, from my hip youth pastor perspective, I don't see any issue with this um, with this song or this video. Uh, it seems very in line with the Bible and um, the creation that the Lord hath blessed us with. Uh, amen. Um, you know, I just uh, I think that strong women like these may be intimidating bad Christians like Ben Shapiro um, into sort of um, straying from the Lord's lessons and the Lord's messages, um, which were very much in line with the sort of message in this video. WAP. I don't know what WAP really stood for. Um, it should be WAG, wet and gushy, as far as I can tell. But um, I think Cardib and Megan Stallion did pretty good um, for this song. And uh, in, the, in the vein of sort of congratulating strong, independent um, women of color, I have to thank and, uh, and uh, congratulate Kamala Harris, of course, for just uh, today receiving the endorsement and uh, VP selection of Joe Biden for president. I, of course, endorsed Joe Biden several months ago, and um, his poll numbers have only been going up. I guess you would call it the Nick Ross bump. But um, we won't dig too much into that. Just congratulations to Kamala Harris, congratulations to Cardib, and congratulations to uh, Megan Stallion. Um, anyway, guys, stay tuned for some more great Christian content coming at you very soon. Um, this has been uh, your great Christian boy and your brother in Christ, Nick Ross, signing out.